Hey, 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 Leo. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Tuesday, September 15th to the 16th Intuitive Love Tarot read. This is for my Lions, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully you guys can get something out of it today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Leo. If you would, before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. All right, Leo, let's see what's going on for you. I'm going to get a channeled message in just one moment. Just like to pull a couple cards first. The two of pentacles here. Ooh, what you juggling? Seven of Swords. Ace of Wands. Hmm. One more. Whoops. Oh, that's the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom uh, the bottom of the table. Uh, <laughs> we have the strength card here at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Alright, let's get this message from Spirit. See what's up for you. Okay. I'm hearing spread your wings and fly, Leo. They're wanting you to take a chance on something. They're saying don't overthink it. There's something in your life, whether it be a job or love, you're overthinking and you just need to take that leap. Take your circumstances and make them better. They're saying that there's room for improvement in all areas of your life. You know this. So don't second guess yourself on these improvements that you're wanting to make. You, these are desires that you wish to manifest, but for some reason you're second guessing. Okay, thank you. All right, so let's see. Yeah, it's like, why are you running away? There's a decision that you need to make. It could be possibly two people. Let me say two of pentacles, please. Because there's an opportunity here for a new beginning in love, a new beginning in, in even finances. Yeah, four of wands. There's some sort of stability that you're wanting. It could be with a specific person. It, okay, I'm feeling for some of you, this is just about one person and it's like you're deciding how to do this. For some of you, it's decision on how to propose. For others of you, you're not sure what they want in regards to stability, a home. Let me get one more clarifier on this. One more clarifier on the two pentacles and the four of wands. But I feel as far as your foundation is concerned, you're all set in that department. I feel your money's good. Yeah, see, this is a strength card. For some of you, you're, you're going to propose and you're nervous and you're not sure how to go about it. For others of you, it's not necessarily a proposal, but it's like you, you want to be specific to one person. You, you, what's the word? You want to be, you, you want to commit to just one person. You don't want to commit. You don't want to keep dating. You don't want them to keep dating and you're wanting to voice this to them exclusive you want to be exclusive to them and you're needing strength to voice this to them 
Tell me about the seven of swords, justice. Some of you may have ran from commitment in the past, I'm feeling. But this time you, it's, it's like this time is different. But this is bringing up memories of you running away from commitment. And you're aware that it's there now. So you're wanting to balance out, out this fear. Which is awesome. Nine of Wands. You're understanding that wounded warrior within. I feel like a lot of hermit energy with this. We are in Virgo season, so that makes sense. Oops. Yeah, the hangman. I do feel that you're enlightened to what this is or what this was. And this is help helping to guide you with this new situation here. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. This is a new beginning in passion in love. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. The Chariot. You're going to move ahead. I feel like this person is going to be receptive to you. This could be a Cancer. doesn't have to be. But you're letting... I feel like you're letting the divinity of the connection guide you. It could be a twin with the four of wands here. Yeah, you do have the justice as well. Clarify the ace of pentacles. You've done a lot of healing just to get to this point. Like, there's, a, there's been a lot of growth since meeting this person. Tell me about the ace of pentacles. Yep, the Knight of Cups. There's that offer. Now, mind you, the roles can be reversed. This could be an offer coming to you. And this is this person having recognition of their commitment issues within. So, you know, swap up the energies as you see fit. How does this other person feel about Leo? How does this other person how does this other person feel about Leo? Oh. Six of Cups. High Priestess. Wow. Ace of Swords and Temperance. They feel the healing within this connection, just as you do, just as you're experiencing. And this can definitely be a twin because now you have Justice, the High Priestess, Four of Wands, and the Six of Cups. Yeah. Definitely a spiritual connection. This is a love that's based on truth. They're pretty clear about you. They feel this soul connection. They feel this soul tie. They're keeping it to themselves because they've wanted to manifest this. Wow. So what is your advice for Leo? They're feeling the same way. There's nothing to be nervous about. As I spied the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Magician and Queen of Swords. Okay. Cut out this energy the seven of swords here okay because it's no longer needed you have an understanding of why you held that energy within and go and manifest your dreams because they're right in front of you communicate this to this individual stop the struggle within the five of wands okay because there is no competition, especially if this is a, a twin. Leo, come on. There is no competition. You do not have to worry. This person is just as smitten with you as you are with them. All right, Leo. I hope this helped. I hope it resonated. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in any personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. The information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if this resonates with you. Have a good one, Leo, and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.